everyone! I'm Catherine Decina Sapelin, your beer mistress, and I'm on a quest to find the worst Belgian beer. And today I'm trying this one Saint Bernardus Patter 6. It's part of the Belgian family brewers and it uses Belgian hops. Let's open this up. Here's the bottle cap. I like the color scheme on this one because I think you can see the writing better than last week's with the blue. Pour this out. I did my research this time. It's a double, which apparently, according to Prince Charming, I've been saying wrong for a really long time. But it's a patter double, and I don't know what that means. And I really wish that on the internet, it could say, this is what this is, and this is what that is, but it doesn't. It just doesn't tell me anything. And this particular beer is unfiltered, so it should taste yeasty at the end. Before I get into it, I'm uncertain how much ambient noise there's going to be, but if you hear the wind and the birds, and you're like, holy crap, why is that so loud? It's because the room is so stuffy that I have to have the door open, and that's why. Now you know. Here's the color. It's very dark. There's a slight reddish tint if you hold it up to the light. A little bit of carbonation going on. The head is very brown or beige. So that's all really good, yay. Let's smell this. It smells like hops. That's all I'm getting is just hops. I mean, it's a nice hoppy smell. It's just that's all I'm getting. We're gonna have to close the door. <sighs> Opening the door was a mistake. Not sure if you guys have them, but we have these little things called springtails and they jump around like fleas and they're horrible. And now I'm going to have to wipe down the walls because there's a whole bunch that got inside. So to deal with my problems, let's drink some beer and forget about them. Who's on that? What the heck do they do to the patter doubles that just, ugh, oh, oh, it's, and I like this brewery. I was worried about this because the last patter that I had was this one and it did not taste good. There must be something that they do with the brewing process because this isn't good. It's not horrible, it's at least drinkable, because I didn't consider the last one that I had to be drinkable, I had to give it to Prince Charming. This is, I can deal with it, but they're, I think it's the hop, I think they just use way too much because that's all I'm tasting. I'm not getting anything else. There's no sweetness, there's no bitterness, there's no like sour note, coffee or caramel or smoked, nothing, it's just, it's this one taste that I don't like, and I think it's the hops. But it's not so overwhelming that I can't drink it. The carbonation is really nice, and it goes down nicely. I'm not feeling the alcohol, so that's a good thing. Although, in fairness, I feel like I shouldn't be feeling the alcohol that much because this is 6.7%, so it's significantly lower than the beers that I've tried sort of recently. Because I think the last one was 10, and the one before that was like 12. Okay, now that I'm sort of accustomed to it, it's sort of growing on me a little bit. I mean, I don't think that I would try and get this beer again, because it's just, it's not leaving me with an everlasting good memory in my brain. It's just, it's okay. No, it's really weird because when I drink it, it's not that bad. It's when it's gone over my tongue, it's like there's this filmy funkiness that's left on it and it just doesn't taste nice. But like once that's gone, it's like, oh, well maybe it tastes good and then I taste it and like the beginning is okay, the middle is okay, and then it's just the ending is just this weird, funky, tasty stuff. I'm disappointed. I'm actually sort of surprised that I found a beer that I didn't like by St. Bernardus because I've had quite a few of their beers and they're all very delicious. Just the patter ones. Maybe that's like a specialty thing that I just don't like. Maybe I should go down that realm. Yeah, it's that ending note that's like, I just want to go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's very, very sexy, my doing that. Like, this isn't, I'm not 
really enjoying myself with this beer. I'm gonna be honest. It's just, uh, still not feeling the alcohol. I feel like if I'm not going to like the beers and I'm gonna continue drinking them, the least it can do is give me a little buzz. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm more sad than happy with this beer. Oh, beer. Why? I just wanted to have a good time with you. You know, get to know you. And now it's just like, I don't want to know you. You know what the worst part is, guys? Is that there's a St. Bernardus Pater 8. Or Pater. Or is it supposed to be like Peter, but like all Dutch-like? I don't know. But there's another one of these, so... You guys get to look forward to that. Oh, that aftertaste, man. It's, ugh. <sighs> My mom should be happy. She likes it when I make weird faces and don't like the beer. Okay, seriously, opening the door was such a bad idea. I'm seeing springtails everywhere, and I don't like springtails. They remind me of fleas. If you like this beer, you'll have to tell me in the comments below what you thought of it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. The algorithm gods don't care as long as you're interacting with my video. If you want to help support this channel, then be sure to share it with your friends, family, and strangers on the internet because that actually does help me. If you enjoyed this type of video, then consider checking out my Beer Mistress playlist where I taste other Belgian beers. All my social links have been left in the description below for your convenience. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and I keep a blog where I continue the conversation, so go check that out. That's what I have for you guys today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tote scenes, my apple zines. Back in France during the summer, I went upstairs in our room and I looked up at the ceiling and it was moving. And on closer inspection, there were tiny little bugs. And I was freaking out and thinking, we just need to burn down the house. And that's when I discovered what springtails were. They're an evil bug.